What's up guys, uh, it's your boy Justin coming back at you guys with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, import products using Overlo and how to fulfill an order using Overlo. So um, guys, we'll go ahead and hop in the computer. Alright guys, so it's on my computer now. So uh, first thing you guys want to do is obviously have your Shopify store and download the app Overlo. Okay, it's a free app um, and it helps you add products and fulfill orders and uh, do all sorts of stuff. It's pretty much a must if you're doing Shopify. So when, uh, download Overlo. And once you get inside here, okay, first thing we're going to do is show you guys how to add a product. Okay, so you can go right here and Overlo has like their own thing where you look at products right here and you can like one button click add to import list, right? Um, you can do that way. Uh, but honestly, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to go to AliExpress. Finding your product, right? Um, whatever it is, let's just say uh, dog shoes, okay? And whatever. We'll take this in here, right? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, once you get to the product page of whatever you're uh, importing, copy that, go to Overlo. Uh, let's see here. No, let's see, where's that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Search products, my bad. That's where you go. <laughs> Search products. Uh, import product by URL. Paste it. Import. And it'll go to your import list right here, right? So get rid of that. Import list. And you'll see it in here. So obviously rename it. Uh, uh, whatever. Right. Whatever. Ugg dog shoes. Okay. Um, add it to collection homepage, whatever collection you can tag it. Dogs, whatever, All right? Okay. Um, go to the description. Yeah, you might want to find one. Um, definitely don't leave that one. So, you know, delete that. Find your own, write your own, whatever. Go over here. Check what images you want to keep. It's going to have some that are already checked. It's going to check pre check some for you, but just check. Make sure it's not putting any crappy pictures in there. And um, once you get everything looking good, you just push to shop right so right over here this little practice kind of got sorry let's go to products and you're gonna see go on. there it is okay awesome so we already got and then you pretty much rinse and repeat that any product you want to you want to put in there you just find it copy it paste it edit it push to shop okay so once you get your your product in there um we'll be showing you guys exactly how to fulfill an order all right, guys. So it looks like we just got an order in. Okay. So to fulfill this, do not. This is a mistake I made when I first started doing this. Do not go right into the order on your Shopify store and just you know hit fulfilling. Right. You're gonna hit start fulfilling, and trust me, <laughs> it does not work. Um, yeah, it's 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 not gonna send it. So um, maybe there's a way. I don't know. I could never figure it out. So. A proper way to do it using Overlow is to go to Overlow. Okay, once you pull it up, right here in your main dashboard, when it opens up, it'll say to order. Okay. And right in here, you'll say order product. And now uh, this is going to bring you straight into AliExpress and sign you in, which it's about to do. Got to add to cart, sign you in, do all that cool stuff. And cool, cool, cool. Bring it right in here, right? So it's going to put the random address I put in there, right? Okay. Um, put your phone number. So, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Okay, whatever, right? And it will save and ship to this address. Now, always leave them a message. And um, I would say something like drop shipping order. Please do not include promotional or invoices. So that way you're, um, that way your customers don't get, um, you know, the invoice and it say it came from AliExpress and then they're going to know exactly where you got it from, right? They're going to know that you got it from AliExpress and you basically drop shipped and you don't want them to know that so you want to go ahead and let the supplier know not to put that there so that's that's pretty much the only way to do it right there and then you just confirm and pay which obviously I'm not going to do because I don't really want to buy this because I don't want these dog shoes but um that's about it guys that's all you got to do to fulfill the order and uh 
that's all you got to do to add products to your overload. So that's about all I got for you guys today. Um, dip, 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 dip. I'm out.